And uh, what we have here is the, the Neptune engine. I'm having a little problem with my mic. So. Uh, what we have here uh, is, is, is a Neptune engine of a four-cylinder version. Of course, these, this is the new platform that we just spoke about. It comes to you in, in two versions, in, in a six-cylinder version. 1932 uh, tractor, and I, we have here a four-cylinder version, which is uh, <coughs> meant for a bus application, but the range of powers between these two will be from 160 horsepower to about 380 horsepower. This engine is a clean sheet design, which is a, a, a brand new design which Ashok Leyland and the team has put together. Thank you. Uh, it's, it's a brand new engine that the team has put together and what's important is that it's a 100% indigenous engine for, from day one and in addition it's also something which is benchmarking the best in, in the world. It's got a specific fuel consumption which is probably the best in class. It's got a very high specific power, uh, kilowatt per kg of engine weight uh, that it delivers. It's equipped with a Gen 3 CRS system from, from Bosch, which is rated at 1,800 bars <coughs> peak firing pressure. These peak firing pressures are possible because of the, and this is what protects it for BS5, and these are possible because of the way the truss design of, uh, of, of the uh, cylinder block has been put together. Uh, <coughs> and this has a BS4 capability because of exhaust gas recirculation. Uh, this is a maintenance-free kind of a system that, that, that it has. <coughs> it also has a top-down cooling uh, uh, provision with wet liners inside. That's what makes it so efficient. And uh, the, the gear train of, of this engine is, is compressed in this little area at the back because you've got high-contact uh, spur gears which drive the timing gears in there and you've got a power takeoff capability which is visible on the on, on the six cylinder uh, and that is <coughs> up to about 650 newton meters on of, of uh, torque on the power that uh, we can take off on the six cylinder and these are the uh, highlights of the, the Neptune engine. Uh, not to be left behind of course is our very popular H series engine which we've been uh, servicing your needs with earlier and the truck that we have here the 2523 is actually equipped with uh, an H series engine and this engine has been upgraded as well uh, it's now got a complete new platform of the of the block a lot more sturdier to handle the higher uh, firing pressures required and this has been upgraded to BS4 using the the SCR technology this SCR technology is made available with uh, can we have the camera this side, please? Uh, this SCR technology is, is, is made available through our company, Albonair, which is an Ashok Leyland company based in Germany, Dortmund. They supply us with, uh, with, with the SCR uh, equipment, which has been mounted on this truck. <coughs> Let me... Allow, to, allow me to move on now to the details of the of the tipper. Uh, <clears throat> on on the on this, what you see here is a six by four tipper, and on this this tipper we have uh, seven different models uh, that will come to you. Uh, and what's important is that these come with uh, AL proprietary designs of the body. Uh, this body, of course, is the part, half pipe uh, body of the. A rock body type and that's why you see that big canopy which comes up there which prevents uh, any rocks from falling right up to the windscreen front line but of course if uh, there are the other uh, bodies which may be available with the box type or the scow type in different uh, cu cubic meter capacities going up from uh, <coughs> 14 cubic meters up to about 22 cubic meters which may be available on the 8x4 uh, tipper range In, in addition to the body designs, what Ashok Leyland has also put together is the validated hydraulics. And these hydraulics are completely validated by AL. They are branded Ashok Leyland, 
And what this means really is that for our customer tippers, it now becomes a single point contact for all their issues which pertain to either the body or the hydraulics or the tipping gear equipment, available both in front end as well as underbody uh, tipping arrangements. The bodies that we have here on the 25 tonners are designed for payload cap carrying capabilities of up to about 30 tons. Uh, and we've also fitted these with uh, mine lug tires, which are uh, applicable for heavy duty applications uh, on the off mining uh, areas. The bumpers of the uh, truck have been designed differently as compared to what you see on the tractor, and that's because this has got uh, two piece uh, metal bumpers. To allow for a higher uh, approach angle, you've actually got a flexible uh, front footstep, which allows for a uh, higher approach angle <coughs> to the front of, of, of the truck. The front suspension has also been uh, beefed up for a 30 ton payload. And uh, it's a heavy duty multi-leaf suspension, which is, which is also maintenance free. Uh, there's some smart packaging, which has gone in in terms of uh, details of the uh, battery box to seal the battery in, along with the air tanks, etc., cetera, all, all put in together. And uh, of course, the truck's fitted with a brand new bogey suspension. Uh, these bogey suspensions are available up to a 30 ton rating. Uh, 30 ton rating would be on the 8x4 that, uh, that's going to be available. What you have here is the 6x4 tractor also, which is on a similar uh, platform as, as the 2523. And uh, this 6x4 tractor, it will have two tractors in its range. Uh, one, uh, that's this one that you see, which is catered more for uh, uh, overload and uh, ODC, overdimensional cargo application. Uh, available in two engine versions, 320 horsepower, as well as in a 360 horsepower DS3 uh, version. We've got these. Uh, this tractor, just like the, the tipper there, has, has a brand new frame, which is an 11 inch depth frame, uh, 8 millimeters thick. It's uh, a single clean frame that you see from outside, and it's uh, got internal flitching wherever it's required, but it's, it's uh, a standardized uh, frame. In, in addition, the frame has been put together by using flanged fastness that you can see right across, and this makes it completely maintenance free because they hold torque and they hold, uh, hold the components together. <coughs> the tractor comes to you with uh, a larger three and a half inch uh, diameter uh, kingpin. It's going to be available with uh, a hub reduction on the 6.17. What you see here is, of course, a normal hub, uh, but what we will also offer is a hub reduction rear axle for much higher uh, lives on the ground wheel pinion. <coughs> the fuel tank that has been put here is a cross-linked polymer type of a fuel tank, which is uh, uh, corrosion-free, maintenance-free, it's impact resistance and also uh, tested for fire resistance. Uh, the tank is modular in design and is built to 200, 300, and 400 liter capacities. And depending upon the packaging on either side, uh, the tanks could be added to uh, as, as a retrofit to give you additional uh, fuel carrying capability as well. <coughs> the range of gearboxes on, on these vehicles or in, on the uh, U-Track platform will be available from six speeds, nine speeds, 16 speeds. We will also have uh, automatics and AMTs, especially for the uh, 8x4s and the mining tipper applications. We will have uh, automatic transmissions uh, as well. Uh, on this 16 speed transmission that we have here, we've got a pneumatic uh, gear shift for easy gear shifting and for smoother gear shifting uh, with less uh, efforts. Uh, we've got a, a smart packaging of the catalytic converter, 
Now, this CAT-CON, of course, is applicable for the BS4, but when you have a BS3 the 